the O2 was created to actually demonstrate in a joyful, entertaining way that the future of sports cars is electric. Being premium means being electric. One of the very first premises of Polestar, of course, was to promote sustainable mobility as an element of joy and fun. This joyful uh, fun of driving electric cars is something that is really adding to car culture. Car culture is not going to die. Car culture is going to be, you know, even more colorful and great in the future. I can, of course, understand the fascination of a, of a great engine sound. Having said that, it's the sound of the past. Electric cars are that much more thrilling and will be the future. And if you're not electric, then you're not premium. Premium means being electric. The future will show that the journey towards a sustainable mobility will be an um, amazing, uh, entertaining journey. I would love to highlight really with the O2 something that is so much of a, of a greatness of an electric car. It can be a, a silent car and it can be an amazing experience to open the roof to drive and just enjoy that, that ride through nature, through, through an amazing city and just soak it in. drone that is part of the O2 concept is not just, uh, you know, a gimmicky feature to kind of like um, show, oh wow, you know, it's got a drone as well. It's actually part of a, um, of a shift which we want to provoke in how you, how you look upon what it means to, to have such a joyful object and drive it. Um, it's being able to film you whilst you're driving through a nice countryside capture that experience, creating moments that you remember, something that you, that you share with, with people, with the person that you're together with. It's not just about, you know, the physical experience of driving fast, but it's well about creating shareable moments and that becoming big, big part of, your, of, 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 of our life. Sustainable materials, natural grown fibers, and all of this is an amazing tool for the designers. Max and uh, his team have created a really, really tempting, super modern, cool looking uh, interior with it. A sports car is, of course, the most desirable product that you can do. This car, the O2, is, is our halo car. It is the top of the pyramid. So obviously it's also extremely enjoyable to design. Being able to design cars or, or any product is a great privilege. We as designers, we have an incredible power. We have the power to create desire. If you think about it, we can turn coils of 0.8 millimeter steel and pellets of plastic into pure emotion. But if you think about today's industrial capacity and all the stuff we're churning out, all these millions of products every year, you also realize how much responsibility this power comes with. What that means for us designers is we, we have to stop and we have to think before we engage and we do stuff. So we have to understand how are the raw material sourced that we're using for our products? We have to understand how do they get transported? How do they get to our factories? How will they be developed into products? And we have to change these processes. And these processes are old. These processes have been slowly developing over decades. And we're realizing that now is the time where society has to change. And we have to question each and every one of these processes. For Project Zero, we need to work in close collaboration with our suppliers. So their agreements have to be made, research has to be done. So this is, this is serious work and that will take its time. But we can see that those ideas that we can identify and that we can put in projects like the O2 Roadster, they already take us step by step closer to the big goal 
of zero carbon emissions. So with the O2, we labeled the aluminum panels in grays. And after the vehicle's life, the structure gets disassembled and these panels get recycled individually. And that way, they retain their structural properties and can in the next vehicle be again used in the optimal context. In today's automotive interiors, there are all these beautiful materials, wood, aluminium, leather, polymers, and they all get bonded together permanently. They cannot be recycled. These materials are lost for society. So monomaterials, they make up all the soft components of the O2's interior. That means, since they are all made from one highly recyclable thermoplastic, after the vehicle's life, they can be recycled as one material. And not only that, they can be recycled over and over again, which is a big step towards circularity. What we're already seeing today is that we as designers, together with the engineers, we get inspired by all these new processes and ideas and technologies that we're looking into. And our job now is to implement these things into today's and tomorrow's products and make those things desirable. The O2, for me, is, is proof that you can take the right steps towards circularity, the right steps towards sustainability, and at the same time create highly desirable products. Design is our core. Joyful objects of mobility that bring us on the way of a CO2-free mobility. Um, that's our mission, that's our vision, and that is what Polestar is pursuing. <laughs>